Just what is it that you want to do? We want to get loaded, and we want to have a good time. I know you're wondering what these hats are. Purchased from the finest New York City street vendors. <laughs> do I have to choose one? Is there something, is there different questions in each hat? Slow down. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> right, what's going on? <laughs> Your destiny is in these hats. Right. Okay. And I want to give you your own Rotten Tomatoes sanctioned pub name. Okay. The Glib Ocelot. That sounds like a bummer of a bar to go to, I gotta say. <laughs> like, um, the Glib Ocelot. This is my fate. This is my oh fate. Oh my god. Listen, that is where your phenomenal movies are going to take you away from. You are never <laughs> going to end up at the Glib Ocelot because all your movies on Rotten Tomatoes are fresh and we love you. Whoa. Okay, mine is the tumultuous honey baked ham. <laughs> My pub name is the Clandestine Honey Badger. Why don't we meet in the Clandestine Honey Badger? <laughs> Does right, that sound sexy? Then. My porn name. And we all know what they say about both the Honey Badger and the Honey Baked Ham. Yeah, right. They don't give up. A flying honey bake. <laughs> <That's> exactly. <laughs> they haven't seen each other in 20 years. I'm free to do what I want. But tonight, they're returning to their hometown to finish the ultimate bar crawl. Did you find that in dyeing your hair black at any time you felt a little bit like Robert Smith of The Cure? I felt like Andrew Eldritch of The Sisters of Mercy. That right. Was, that was where Tattoo I was, on your stomach? Yeah. I'm, although, weirdly enough, at one point I do have Robert's lipstick on. There's a, there's a moment in the film when mm. I, I, I get to make out with a, a, a girl and she leaves this great big smear of red lipstick on my face and I look a little bit like Robert Smith. Thankfully, it was your color. Yes. Absolutely. Ruby red. What did he say, sir? Newton Haven has been taken over by robots. Did you believe him? And I want to thank you for using your influence to expose the inherent creepiness of twins. <laughs> I don't know. Now, I think the thing is, is that like, I have, t there are twins in everything that I've done. Yes. Spaced, Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, Don't, Scott Pilgrim vs. <gasps> the World, don't. don't has twins in it as You're well. You're right. And The World's End has two sets of twins. I love symmetry. <laughs> There's never a bad shot with identical twins. God, you're right. It's true. Like, the, in fact, St uh, uh, Stacey and Kelly, who played the twins in this, they heard they are not stunt women, and uh, they have not acted before. They are like dancers. I it's can't like, believe they're not stunt people. They were amazing. Can you talk about how you did the leg on the arm effect? Because that's in the trailer. That's not giving anything away, right? It was, um, we had these prosthetic legs, which she would have her arms inside, uh -huh. and they could like sort of bend in a couple of ways. And so some of the shots are real. I mean, these prosthetic legs. Wow. And some of them are digital, but it's a mix of the two. Incredible. But it was like sort of, as you might imagine, it's actually they're pretty heavy and quite taxing to kind of like, you yes. know, strangle and do different like kind of like moves of them and stuff. And Legs are meant to be on the bottom of yeah, your body, yeah. not up here. Also, like it's worth noting, one 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 naked foot, one high heel. It looks creepy. <laughs> so creepy. Hello, I am a robot. We're just five friends on a night out, <laughs> having a good time. In the robopocalypse, God forbid it ever comes, for real. Yes. Who out of your entire cast do you want on your team, on your side? Who's going to be the most useful? This guy. Rugby me, I think. Right? Rugby. Rugby, wrestling, he's smart. Yeah. Very modest. Yeah. Very modest. So modest. I got very, <laughs> I got very angry last night because I couldn't find a salsa club. In New York you couldn't? I accompanied him because I was worried about him. And uh, he was like on a mission. I thought I'd better wingman him. Just look after him a bit, you know. Wingman, and were you getting like your hip motions ready? I haven't. I can't. Nick has just done a movie where he's he like he's trained as a salsa dancer. Right. And he's very adept, and I was looking forward to going along and watching him throw a few shapes. You know, I would have let him lead me and just just go through some basics. Aww. We would have set that place on fire, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Li top. Just literally. Just this uh, this zone. <laughs> In the Robo Apocalypse, who from the cast do you want on your side? Uh, Nick Frost. Why? I think so, Nick Frost, Nick Frost and Paddy would be the last men standing. I think me, Simon, Martin, and Eddie would probably all be dead. <laughs> Glib Ocelot, not I in know. your future. <laughs> You're safe. We are gonna get to the world's end if it kills us. Oh no. Doomsday.